Hey guys, so I felt like I'm getting two new playmats and I haven't really shown off this playmat. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to open some fat packs and I got these fat packs relatively cheap uh, from my local game store and I got some speculations. So Dragon Maze, I got this for $9.99 with tax 8%. It came to be less than $12, which is very good. Of course, Dragon Maze has almost no value in it. Uh, Voice of Resurgence is a $13 card at the time of recording, which is not great. Uh, you do have the Shocklands, but they cannot come in foil. And then Eldritch Moon, which I got for $20, uh, $19.99 worth tax and stuff. Uh, local game stores are really trying to move the product because it's difficult to... It's a difficult time for a local game store. I also bought all of these for relatively cheap. And I'll show you some of my recent speculations. Ancient Zygot. This one is in five color humans. As of this recording, you never know of reprints. As of this recording, it is $10. And there's a lot of them. So Ancient Zygot was also reprinted in the Sliver deck, uh, so that's where you see the foil ones, with the little hive. These are $10 a piece. Uh, the store sold it to me for $2.50, and yes, they knew it was $10. They were discounting everything. They used to carry magic, they used to do FNMs. Now they don't do any of that type of stuff because uh, it's not profitable. Two meddling mages, these are relatively expensive. I got them for $5 each. This one I got for another five. Some of them, he just wanted to do $5 for pretty much all this and then a discount on top. So yeah, they were doing a sale. Uh, I used to go there and play FNM every, pretty much every weekend. And then all of a sudden, they stopped carrying magic. And I asked the owner like why that was the case and it's because a lot of the profitability of a store is based on singles. And if you're not selling singles, you're not selling boxes, you're, not, you're gonna have a really hard time. So I love Dragon Maze. This is my favorite set of all time. He only had one left, otherwise I would have bought all of them. And for $10 for a fat pack is really, really good. Even Dave and Adam's good. Now, can we hit the $10 mark? I think we can get there. Uh, it will be semi-difficult. I think with Eldritch Moon, all you had to do is hit Liliana the Veil. Here you need you have. And I love the gold. The gold is really nice. It reminds me of a. I collect baseball cards and football cards. There is back when I was really into it, there was a set called Gold Standard for football and base. I think it was mainly football. I don't remember baseball. Basketball, it was basketball. And Gold Standard was really, really fun. And it was just like these gold packs. So here we have a clue, another clue, free clues, restore and peace, skeleton, and typically this would not be bad. The mimic I think is worth a dollar, but uh, let's see how many clues we can get. So we got free clues and a guild gate. So the Guild Gates are your last card in Dragon Maze will either be a Shockland, Dragon Maze itself, which is unfortunate because it's not very pricey and it is a mythic. So they, I don't like what they did with Dragon Maze, uh, the card Dragon Maze. They made sure that like it was not valuable. Oh, there are no Guild Gates right now. Oh, there's a Clue Stone. Restore the peace again. Possibility. Oh, wow. Hollow Fountain. Um, yeah, we made back the pack. This was a good buy. This was a very, very good buy. Oh, the token is also kind of valuable. So where's the clue? Did I put the clue down? Yeah. So the, the token, if it's a elemental token for voice, it's about two bucks. So here we have some advertisements. All right, Hollow Fountain, so we did good. We're good. I mean, we don't need to continue to open. This is a good $10. I think Hollow Fountain's at least like 12 retail. So, oh, clue, clue. You guys can try to guess how many clues we're gonna receive. Free clues. 
Oh, there is a foil here, but it can't be a foil fetch land. And there's not very many good foils. The Blood Witch. And, oh, Boar's Gate. So the token is one of the, it's the most valuable non-mythic in the set. So we got Blood Witch and a foil. Actually, that was pretty lucky. Hollow Fountain. I I think the odds, the odds of pulling a Shockland are two to four a box. So one in every 18 or one, anywhere between nine, one in every nine to one in every 18 packs are supposedly going to have a Shockland for the regular RTR and Gatecrash. Dragon Maze, it's double that. So it's one in every 18 to one in every 36. So... It's very lucky. There's less. There's somewhere between a 50% chance and a 25% chance that you pull. Oh, here we have. Oh, the guild gate. I have crust and release. Unfortunately, the fuse mechanic no longer works well. They got rid of that mechanic. Uh, I mean, I could see eventually something breaking it. But now they change the rules on it, and it's no good. Clue stone. Yeah, guess how many clue stones? Oh, this one doesn't have that many. I think there's a foil here, too. Blast of Genius. Legion's Initiative. This card used to be very... This is probably the best fat pack you could get in existence. Uh, this card was incredibly valuable at one time. Uh, it was very good for the Boros. Uh, so it is a red and a white... Red creatures get plus one, plus O. Oh. White creatures get plus zero, plus one. Exile it. Exile all creatures you control. At the beginning of the next combat, return those cards to the battlefield under the owner's control. So it's pretty cool. Oh, a Gilgate, a foil. That's probably worth a few dollars. And it matches our Hollow Fountain. This is like the best fab pack. I've opened a lot of these fab packs, and I can tell you, one in every four fat packs maybe has a fetch land, if that. So these lands are actually valuable to stores because they draft with it. All right, pretty good, I would say. I'm pretty sure this guild gate is worth at least a few dollars because it is foil. All right, so we, let's get, I, I don't think we can pull another fetch land. That would be, or another shock land. That would be too, oh, here's another clue. Too greedy. Oh, here's another clue. It's a lot of clues. Blaze Commando. Nosin Thief. I think that is worth a few dollars. It's probably a dollar. It is very good in EDH. Another clue stone. Hmm. Lots and lots of clues. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one. <laughs> four. I think that was four in one pack. That's crazy. And we have Far and Away, Summoner, Glean of Battle. Oh, this Ancient. I believe this was in the beginner deck. One of the introduction decks. The introduction decks are a lot better now than they used to be. But overall, this was not bad. One Hollow Fountain, $9.99. Yeah, I'll take it. Sinister Debt of the Deathless, Obzet's Aid. This used to be a semi-valuable card. It is still very good in ED8. I think it's worth like a few pennies now. And Beetle Form. I don't know if I've been checking all the tokens. It's really funny that the token's worth $2, which is more than all the rares in this set. All right, last, last pack. We did get that one Hollow Fountain pretty early on. You can just, wow, four Clue Stones again. Blast of Genius. Flux Charger, and it is Tazrak and a Rhino. All right, let's do a quick summary of what we got. I think this was, I uh, got, it's got to be one of the best boxes of Dragon Maze I've ever opened, given any box with a Shockland is very good. Any box without a Shockland is very bad. So let's see what we got here. We got one Guild Gate, a bunch of clues, Bunch of clues, a foil, another regular card, regular card. So if you really wanted clue stones, uh, this would be the set for you. Because 
you would get like infinite amount of clue stones. And you would get a lot of gates as well. Wow, that's a ton of clue stones. If one day clue stones become valuable or like more than a few pennies, then this will, this set will be very. So there's a hollow fountain, beautiful hollow fountain, fresh out of pack, and that makes it all worth kind of. That's that makes it all worth it, right? So let's talk about one hollow fountain, a possibility storm, a legions initiative, a mimic. So we got two mythics, which is not bad. Uh, a Cats and Reliefs, a Blood Witch, a Nocent Thief, a Ancient and Blade of Legions. And we also got, I guess of note, foil note, um, we got the Guildgate foil. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21. Out of nine packs, you get 21 of these clues. On average, about two a pack, which is crazy. Well, anyway, uh, we're gonna open the Eldritch Moon. I definitely wanna do some openings on this map before I get my two new mats, which I'll make deck techs and stuff. So in case anyone's wondering, yes, until I've been banned, I'm still gonna play Magic and open. So I'm very happy to get the Hollow Fountain that is the best we can ever expect from a $10 booster box or a uh, $10 fat pack. Bye guys.